it's you. Come on in and join us. We're so glad you're here today. The Razor Company has released a new line of soaps and splashes. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey! Oh, we're so glad you're here! Yes, Come on in, your chair's waiting for you. Throw a like and subscribe on for us if you'd be so kind. But if you happen to be here on a Wednesday or Saturday morning, yeah. join the live chat. Some of my most favorite people from all over the world are hanging out there now, mm -hmm. and we'd love to see you, too. The Whip Pack, some are having coffee with us, and right. others are having their Bob Clock The ones in Europe are there. drinking <laughs> heavily. It's amazing! Yeah, y'all, so come on by. We have a great time. Mm -hmm. And for our mention today, y'all, I had not really jumped headlong into the world of brushes yet. I didn't really understand what was out there until we got this amazing <laughs> package in the mail from Sean Smaldridge. Jeez. If you saw that episode, our trotter brush. he sent us our first trotter mm -hmm. brush, all which was Sarah's absolute favorite color in the I don't whole know world. How we I knew. Mean, <laughs> unreal home run, buddy. Mm -hmm. So I actually got. My trotter brush that I had been talking to Paula about getting. It's so now true. we each have one, thanks to Sean. And then nice. I saw this come across mm -hmm. my feed, and I went, "Well, wait a minute. How do we not get that?" I think we're going to become a brush family now. Uh, <laughs> we had to get brush shelves. Growing up, every day at four and four thirty, I was babysat by Marsha Brady, and my mom was in the kitchen making dinner and mom doing stuff. mom things, and she was a giant fan too of the Brady Bunch mm -hmm. and their most iconic prop. Is probably the one from season four when they went to Hawaii with Vincent Price. Yes. The idol, the tiki idol. Y'all, Craig <laughs> created this brush at Opus Brush and machined mm -hmm. the internal part Just before he poured the resin, it. and mm -hmm. it is incredible. And my first Manchurian badger knot that does not have the gel treatment right, on top. I didn't even and realize there was a difference. It's kind of beautifully kind of soft. He he said, make sure you don't put anything but shave soap on it. So I had not accidentally already Oops. broken it in a little bit. I, I had not, I, 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 I promise. <laughs> but he did send some instructions yeah, for this amazing it. brush, which I thought were really apropos. So he said, don't use anything but shaving soap on it. Do not freeze it. Do not boil it. Do not slap it. Do not talk mean to it. Do not <laughs> sand it. Do not drag it behind your truck. Do not soak your knots like crazy. We I learned something. Love Thanks, it. Craig. And <laughs> one of the things I love best about Craig and Opus Brush is his level of passion for brushes mm -hmm. and wet shaving. Y'all just he and he said, I'm really opinionated about brushes. And I was like, we dude, I'm now. a voice teacher. I'm really opinionated about vocalization, right? So you should be opinionated mm -hmm. about brushes. And he's exactly the kind of friend right. we need Such right now. Because cool he guy. knows his hardware. And boy, does he make incredible mm -hmm. things to be cherished in your shave locker. There is another one coming down the pike, which we can't talk about yet, that he's <laughs> collaborating with Sarah for something from her childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got his from his childhood, so it I had to get one too, right? amazing, <laughs> y'all. So, Craig, thank you for opening our yes, eyes to the world you. of Opus Brush. And head over there and take a look at what Some he's got going, cool y'all, because dropping. stay tuned for messages. Mm -hmm. He sent us two to have giveaways here on the show. So, stay tuned stay for that. Stay tuned. But What's then, our soap, soap today? <laughs> So this is the third out of the new TRC line that we were able to sneak. The last right of the after three the that we weekend. got mm -hmm. from the new releases, y'all. And this one is another homage, but it's actually a Tom Ford homage. That's so we're why excited. We saved it for our finale. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are constant viewers know we are solid in the middle of our Tom Ford phase. Boy, Lost Cherry was the first one that rose to the surface mm -hmm. for me, and then Hogs Awakening had bitter the peach. peach one. And, mm -hmm. Oh, and then F bombs from PAA with right? the effing fabulous. It just are continues. You, you know, the <laughs> back of the nail. I'll have a third from Sterling, and yo, it's just such a beautiful artisan house mm -hmm. that Fun we're to get so to know them. Yeah. yeah, so a new one we haven't smelled yet. And Crystal and Angelo hinted at us, y'all, that what he did with Cherry in Found Cherry and what he did with Peach mm -hmm. and Bitter Peach, this might be Tom Ford stepping up to the plate for a Mandarin Orange. And Ooh. boy, are we ready for this. Let's meet the so. <laughs> All right, y'all, so from the sales page at therazorcompany.com. Pollux was inspired by Mandarino di Amalfi from Tom Ford. We've put our unique twist on this fragrance, transforming it into an irresistible scent that everyone can appreciate. Y'all, all right, I'm ready. not kidding. You know what's funny? I was just thinking, if you asked me, what did he do to Cherry and found Cherry to make it so mm -hmm. freaking magical I can't see straight, or peach and bitter peach... I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know if he took the original note and turned Just, it inside right? out. I don't know if it's the stuff he added to right, it. Right, like the stuff around it that's helped. I, I think we just always end up saying it's like inside out or like rediscovering right. the scent somehow right. in a new way. And, and I don't think it's the stuff he's added to it. I think, 
I think he's gone in and pulled something out of the cherry note. I think he's gone in and taken something (laughs) out of the peach. Like, whatever inside of the cherry note is the most magical, he's gone in, taken that little bit of it, Mm -hmm. and exploded It must be. There's something genius, for sure. kind of the hint I get. I mean, put it in the comments, mention it in the chat. But I don't think that it's something he adds. I think Mm -hmm. it's how he forms that note in the first place. Right. And then he decorates it with a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. Angelo just had a little meeting with one of the Tom Ford representatives from Shave Arcade, y'all. And they mentioned that Tom Ford himself, when he goes to bed at night, puts on one spray of effing fabulous and one spray of lost cherry. That is a fun fact. I kind of hope that's true. And that's his (laughs) thing. So we got to try that because we have some homages to both. when he goes to bed, not like start of the day. No, the it's day. said when he goes to bed, I think. Ah, oh, interesting. So who knows? His bedroom must smell Tom amazing, Ford must be an interesting right? kind of dude, I man. bet he changes his sheets all the time. But that might make sense, because if all day you have to be able to smell and collaborate and work with sex, right. maybe going to bed those oh, last hours are right. the only time you can really kind of right. splurge and your nose. we've read some interviews with perfumers that don't wear any, because when right? they get to they work, can't. they have to be able to do their job, mm-hmm. right? So it's totally So you're like, that. you know, the, what your passion is, then you have to kind of space right. out when you actually enjoy it. And y'all, I'm most excited, because I thought the fruit salad ended with cherries and peaches. I no, didn't no. realize there was a mandarin mm-hmm. one as well, a trifecta. Right? We can we make a fruit no salad. Let's unbox it. We've shown these three times, so I don't think we need confetti, but we do have stickers. But okay, well, there's, okay, there's always confetti. <laughs> Lots but of this stickers one's my favorite. Confetti. Only you can prevent razor burn. I know, these are yeah, fun different sizes. Sticker from the meetup. Mm-hmm. I know, and we just got some new cabinets in our shave, Daniel. Yeah, so I don't know how stickers. you knew. We needed some stickers. Yes. We and did. the new TRC ones are a little bit more weatherproof. If yeah, you I think more waterproof. Car, I, I'm not sure. Okay. Is this the last one in the box? This is the last one. Woo! I love the last one in the box. Okay. There it is. Yo, look at that color. Oh, beautiful, Jason. I love the color settings. Yeah, these are super fun. Okay. And the splashes talk about a utilitarian mm-hmm. bottle, y'all. I love how Double these are just rats, little soldiers so no in the casualties. shave den, the way these sit on the shelf. Ooh, this one kind of has a blue vibe. Look at it. I'm excited <gasps> for this. <laughs> All right, so out of an orange-colored sky, let's mm-hmm. see what this one has in our first impression. <laughs> She did the pinks, and He's gonna I'm go this gonna one. do mm-hmm. the blue. All right, here Let's we go. see what our Tom Ford homage has got going on here. A little Tom Ford Mandarin. All right. that, that's all I, we I, know. I kind of have to like let go of any expectation, so this can yep. just kind of wash over me. We know Tom Ford just recreates things, so it's not going to be what you expect, no matter <laughs> it's what. It's hard to not have, have some expectations. All right, here we okay. go. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Tom Ford secret's happening. There's a little magic in there, maybe. Oh, yeah. Y'all, hold on. <laughs> Let's have a really grown-up conversation because I'm reminded of oh, something interesting. interesting. This has a particular note in it that mm. is a little notorious in the fragrance world, and we've never actually run into this before, something just that kind of butts up against it. Oh. The note is civet. And y'all, this is a civet. It's a little bit of like what comes out of its. You know what? Uh, y- y- y'all, civet is an interesting note because even things like oud, it's an immune response to a tree, mm-hmm. right? Or petrichor, right. an oil that leaves and trees actually emit during the first rain after a long dry spell. Y'all, it is amazing where our most delectable am- ambergris. Can there we even have a conversation about friggin' ambergris? Yep. Talk about poop that's everywhere in the fragrance it's world, true. right? So, y'all, amazing what these perfumers are able to find and what they're able to identify so that they can put it to mm-hmm. work right where it needs to be. And what I love is right in the middle of this, which, by the way, is a masterpiece. My Whoa. brain went, wait, what is that crazy thing that's binding all this together that I can't get enough of? And it's almost a, I think it's the civet. I think there it is go. that civet note that is what's binding this together and giving it this cleverness, giving it this unique character. Whoa. Because, y'all, it's almost like a picture with a filter on it. Ah, so I'm getting okay. a beautiful, a beautiful picture of a mandarin. And here's what I love about this. Yeah. The mandarin is savory. This is okay. not a sweet mandarin. Y'all, mandarin is very often used as a candied sure. sweet mm-hmm. scent. What's the man done? And then a gorgeous little bit of just a bracing grown-up sour. Ah, no, to kind of bring it all together. Oh, 
Is Yo, it like a boozy into thing this going on? beautiful picture. No. Not that type of like. Mature. In fact, ironically, it's just beautifully clean. It's just a 5% bracing note in the undertones, a little bit reminiscent of Orenda, the orange oh, one, if you grab that from the Razor Company. Okay. Just 5% on the bass notes. But it lightens up and just, whoa. Yo. So is it taking you like is it taking you to a place or time of day? Like is there is that more of like no, where it's taken? This is a vibe. Okay. This is an electric energized vibe and it makes sense when i looked at the tom ford site it had the original listed as a summer and a morning scent Ah, boy do i get that blues whites and i am beguiled by what i think that civet is doing in the middle because it's a bit of a dance and it's so different it's different if you are looking for something amazing and beautiful and different in your fragrances mm. and you trust a little in your Tom Fordness. Y'all, what a pony for you to bet on. Ooh. I need you to try this one. Okay, right, take this okay. in. See what you think. I'm so intrigued. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> oh, very interesting. So different than Lost Cherry and right. Bitter Peach. It doesn't have that darkness so to So different. Right? Those two are very, very sweet. This one's not. Do you get like a sweetness from this? I, no, it's just like actually the natural Mandarin sweet. Right. Nothing has been candied or sweetened right. like we were expecting. And if you know the other two components of the fruit salad, they are really beautifully sweet in their light notes. This is the opposite. Yeah, I would agree. But there is a fun, almost approaching aquatic thing happening. Ah, That I'm yes, getting. I could see And then that. there's... It's it's funny because you almost think like mandarin orange or like an orange blossom, like that yeah. they would go in that same category. I do get the vibe like if you opened the window in the morning and you had like a mandarin tree or like an orange blossom, like there's something really I think that was the blue sky. Like I'm almost getting that yeah. blue. Do you get do you get a little bit of that civet note? Is there something in there where your brain is like, wait, what? A little, and my brain almost just thinks of it more as like the earthy part of it somehow. Yes. Like, like almost like right. where the tree is in the ground, or right. like you know, if you step on a branch and it has a smell, like right. there's something that's natural yep. kind of vibes going on. Because dirt itself is a lot of decomposed stuff, y'all, and it smells beautiful. <laughs> Maybe. So in fall. There's sometimes people will take an orange yeah. and they'll put like the little cloves and cinnamon sticks in oh, it. Right. And, and they, they like face out right, of it. and they like kind of boil it. So there's something about that. It's it's I don't think yeah. that's in there. Right. But it's how the citrus interacts with other spices right. and stuff. That's happening with whatever that kind of earthier, darker ish thing that's in there. But it's right. only in there to make the rest brighter. It yes. doesn't deepen yes. the scent. I don't identify that onomalic as onomalic. No, I identify not at all. it as how it's tying everything together with this beautiful stitching. And it does an Because it almost needs job. it's something at the bottom to make the yeah. rest have that brighter, prettier. It makes vibe. it so intriguing. Like yes. your brain wants to follow mm-hmm. that civet note, and that civet note leads it into some amazing territory. It's funny. That's what I wouldn't it. know that that's in there at all, right. but I would know that there's some kind of mystery key that's unlocking the scent differently. Right. Well, and I feel you like you that's grab helping. me that brush and bowl, I'll grab this stick and we'll see what happens when we have this some This is our TRC 3D printed, uh, it's the more malleable bowl, right. and then our, our lovely TRC brush I got during all the Black Friday fun. Yep. And y'all, not to put too fine a point on it, but we believe in giving credit where credit is due, and the lather that you're about to see in this has no business coming from a soap that costs less than $17. I agree. Are you kidding me, y'all? Mm-hmm. This is an absolutely This is our, our third one so far. The lather. last two, that lather was just insane. Does it almost look like this has a little different hue to the color? You know how, I, like, neighbors, you grow too many cucumbers and you go put them on your neighbor's porch? We were about to go hand out lather, y'all, after <laughs> know, the last couple shows it. because bad. we had this gorgeous lather that we didn't know what to do anything with because we'd both shaved already. Ooh. Oh, okay, hold on. Wait, I oh, want oh, you to do oh. this. Oh. I want you to do this because it's already... Waking oh. up so beautifully that I want to take it in all at once. Interesting. Oh, this is beautiful. It's just creamy and pasty in this lather. I'm yeah, it's, lather. it's waking up already. I like a thick lather, y'all. I'm just going to say it. True. I like a thick and sticky lather yep. that stays right where you put it and doesn't get transparent on your skin. Can I have a little mm. more bougie? Ooh, it's, 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 speaking of thick, it needs a little, a little yep. more bougie to it. But we are a fan of 3D printed bowls. There's something about oh, that having yeah. that the raw little marks on there right. from the printer. Sharp that really, shaver made us. Yeah, and it really ones. gets in to the brush bristles that they yeah, kind of combine right. well. So uh, we've enjoyed having the 3D printed vibe. And look at that lather. It's magically already Y'all. This brush is full. Y'all. I'm not even like really done yet, but it's it's a happy. I, I use this to break in my badger brush, and somebody said, Oh, wasn't that badger brush pretty thirsty when it came to soaking up the lather? And I was like, Nope. 
Mm-mm. Nope, because serendipity gave me so much lather, I just had room to spare. All right, this is our Nothing Rhymes with Orange With. Y'all, here we go. One, okay. two. Oh. Oh, florals? That's, yeah. Florals yeah, are in this, and they're not over mm-hmm. there. Wait. A little bit of wood? And there's something else clean underneath it, something beautifully soapy. Yeah, and what then is that? and then there's there's something at the bottom too that has a little bit more of a darker vibe. Right. But I feel like it just yep, helped it that. see the three tiers of the scent now. Like now they all have a lane to oh, be in. And Jason, I love this intensity. This is sitting at about three point five for me. Oh, mm-hmm. beautiful. It, and it's interesting because the last two that we've done so far, coming from here to there, you could really get a jump. And it's happening with this one, too. Like, it once is. you build the lather, the magic is then opening up for your and lovely nose. You know, the civet's not even as present here. This no, is just back to the beautiful else fruits and to the herbs civet. and woods. Like, it was a yeah, key yeah, to yeah. get that lower, darker right. part of the scent. Oh, I, I think sometimes that, and an ambergris, and, some, and sometimes like there'll be a lovely soil note. I think yeah. what that does is that tweaks your nose and goes... Come here. You want to know what else is going on here. Like, even in nature, like, that smell would be of interest to your nose. And then that leads you down this gorgeous primrose path into the mandarins, Mm -hmm. into the florals, into the spices. And the way they come together. Like, by the time the civet gets you there, if they weren't great friends, that would be one thing. But they are. No, everything in that scent works. And it is just kind of that new uh, kind of jigsaw puzzle that got refixed and you find that perfect slot. Right. And I think the lack of sweetness is what's keeping this gorgeously masculine. I think they took something that should be syrupy sweet. Think bitter peach. Mm -hmm. Think lost cherry. But this isn't. This is the exact opposite sweetness. Right. And I think it's in that that keeps it masculine. Because it's not unsweet. It's just perfectly right. sweet like jimmy stewart it almost it's almost if you just took a quick whiff it has like a different vibe of something that could be a liqueur or it's oh, almost like an right. a tobacco lane like it's it's ah. a, a different type of scent but those those kind of deeper right. scents are yes. as close as i can get without being this not scent. a cordial y'all the opposite of a midori sour this is the kind of drink that you would have with a fine cigar right it's just slow sipping That's kind a of smoky you, orange yeah kind of, yeah you don't totally. need much of it it's just there to do its job and enjoy the in this world scent but it will be flavor in something else and luckily on the side of the razor company they tell you what's in this let's look at the set notes <laughs> Whoa! There's our a lot second here. Second grapefruit of the day, but I oh, never would have found it no. in here because look again, at what's next. To those it. aren't as crazy sweet, right? So that kind of makes sense. It keeps the brighter side. And of I that. love that the sweetness is partially being done with something I'm noticing on the top mm-hmm. notes here, y'all. Yep. Mint, mint with lemon and grapefruit. Put that salad together, right? Oh my god, that's and then gorgeous. there's just keeps going. We got basil and then tarragon, your spices and black currant, and all of those are still on the top notes. Yep. Are you getting how gorgeous? This is a top board. This is how you know because there's just like a bunch right. of things happening right. here. And then orange uh, blossom. Mm-hmm. There's your floral and a masculine one. Funny that was in. Dolce & Gabbana's The One in Wonderlust oh, you're that right. we did for Ways Coming All the also. spring summary scents, a right. lot of them are using this. We've kind of come across here. Wow. So. But that's the only similarity here. Yeah, no. And then, so keep going with the middle notes. We have also Jasmine. You Love said floral. It was in there. Mm-hmm. Clary Sage. Mm-hmm. Wow. I think Yardley Black Label. Right? Just a little and bit of that And I don't know if here. we know this next one. She's so. She's so. She's so cool. I don't She's know. She's so fine. What's she so? Coriander All right. and black pepper, and we haven't even gone down to the basement no. yet, though. So, but and and that's Whoa. just the top two, which I think we were getting a little closer off here. Yep. Like if you could pick two cents from each category, that's what we got here. Yeah, here, right. they're all layering are coming in. So now. I know, that lather. I can't even talk about, talk about, about it. Talk about y'all, this, it makes you this look like a lather pro. I gotta lathers. say, yes. it really makes you look good. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah I get <laughs> way more camera. credit than good I deserve for, for making this lather, I'll tell you that. And the base notes, finally, of musk. Beautiful mm-hmm. masculine vetiver, keeping it green yeah, and earthy. clean. Mm-hmm. Labdanum and amber. That's yeah, that golden up. summeriness. Mm-hmm. And then... Ah! But it's beautiful. And just a little bit of unacquired 
taste may be. Yeah. The way that coffee mm -hmm. is, the way that those kind of things I'd are. agree. And, and I love that because it keeps your nose looking for what that question is asking. And I, you know, sometimes when someone's wearing like a cologne or something and they walk by and you get a whiff of it, you're like, oh, what's that? Right. I feel like if someone were to walk by with this, you your brain wouldn't know where to file it. Not that right. it's a bad scent, it's just a new scent. Right. And your brain would be so intrigued to be like, hold I, on. I, that, what? Right. Wait, what? And I'm so intrigued by the lack of sweetness in this because it really lets you explore what's inside it. Because yeah. sometimes if a note is too sweet, my brain just loves enjoying that on its own. Oh, cotton candy, yeah. great. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm done, right? Mm -hmm. But if the scent is not really overly sweet, your nose grabs onto that sweet like breadcrumbs and it follows yep. it down looking for more. Mm -hmm. And when it finds something totally different, these citruses, these woods, right. these spices, these herbs, that's where this becomes super interesting. And I think it's the civet that just... Well, puts the cherry on the top of <laughs> yeah, all kind of, of that. But what also is interesting is looking on the Tom Ford page, they list this as a summer scent. Right. But most summer scents are that aquatic, bright, citrusy. Right. More the blues. This is more that other darker oh, side to, you know, 100%. not not dark as heavy, no. but it's just not the bright in your face summer no. right. scent. This is like an Ernest Hemingway type of yeah, scent. With I know there's an mm -hmm. Ernest Hemingway scent. But this this is kind of that dry, dapper. Right. Like that's not a great way to put it. Not needing to be too sweetness yep. to it, right? Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. But even. Wear. Even if you were, had something that you put on in the morning and you wanted to wear all day to like have an evening going out to dinner scent, like it's a very versatile scent. I yep. know they put on the website more morning, but I feel like it could stay with you all day. What's the audio say? We've been working on this for eight minutes. Y'all, look at this. Look at that. that this lather is insane. It's insane. And, it's, and I know civets live in trees, but we're going to have to take this a little deeper. Okay, it might be time to bust this out. I don't know if you can see the color, but it has this fun, like, light oh. blue, minty kind is of Is it thing. a little blue? That's or is that I'm the saying. label that's no. kind of shining through? It's, it's actually, I was trying to show the bottom. It's, oh, I love it that. It has, like, a. Fun it does. Blue it has vibe. a little bit of a blue, icy color to it. Woo! Okay. Uh, do you disagree? All right, I'm going to put some cement on my face right now. Mm -hmm. Y'all open that it's going up and down. see what happens. Okay. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, me first. Yeah, right. you did the <laughs> smell so. <laughs> okay, going in. We're going deep here, babes. Oh. Oh. The last oh. two really changed when they got to this. So I'm oh, curious. it's beautiful. It's light. Oh, oh, that's interesting. This is. Oh, this is more a little lighter. Yes. Oh, a little bit different in the balance, I think. And yeah. by the way, I love the skin food in this. Ooh. It gives my face just this beautiful wetness without being oily, if that kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. So smell from here yeah. and I'm curious to see what it smells like on you versus me because the last two really had a different kind of dry down vibe going on. It just has this beautiful piercing quality to it somehow. Okay in this and you know what's funny at oh. first I was like why did they put a blue label on something that's supposed to be a mandarin orange just funny oh. but I do get more I of get that more blue color. color like in 100%. mine now I completely see it. Well, I, I, and I think I think that speaks to the genius of the scent because the right. way that the cherry and the peach are really about the cherry and the peach. This is more about what the mandarin can do. Yeah. This is more about what the mandarin does when it's transformed with these it spices. It makes you appreciate when that it's transformed scent. to these other scents because these are yeah. really strong scent notes that the other two don't no. have. Right. This is definitely more of a right. vibe where those are more of an identity of a fruit. Oh, this is a vibe. <laughs> this is not about the Mandarin. This is about a vibe. This is a, okay. Oh. I, I feel like if I, this scent, how it's drying down. Right. I totally feel like I would rock this for summer. I, I, maybe it was meant for a more masculine thing, but right. I'd be, uh, vibing towards this. Right. Y'all, this is kind of a special occasion. Kind yeah, of I, now like, that I'm getting this dry down, yeah, I'm like, with you. If, if I'm having a cast party at a Chevy's, like that's one scent. That's something a little more fun. But right. this is a little bit more like if you were invited to the Steinway Museum yeah. in New York and you got mm -hmm. to go in and see all of these pianos that nobody ever gets to see that are 200 years old. If you were, it's yeah, a special occasion. Dressing scent. up for somebody's summer wedding, you know, right. like an outdoor, like a location right. wedding somewhere. It's something that will yeah. add to your memories. Right. It's, it's a special. Special scent. Right, it is. Wow. I, this goes, that's interesting because now I get more of the floral happening here on me. Right. I'm curious right. on you if you no, get more of that. I don't. I get I more of the grapefruit. It, right. Which is, me. Yeah, the crispness is definitely here. And it's funny, but there's not any woods in this scent. Uh, wait, the, what? I don't Hold think. On. I think there's oh, a musk. You're there's, right. There's some, you know, coriander seasoning and that kind of stuff, but there's, the rest is. Right. A little black pepper, maybe right? alluding to it. But like but herby kind of stuff, like sage, maybe, but basil. You're right. It's just all done with herbs and spices. But I get the color in mind of that right. crisp, clean, kind of light kind of vibe. Yeah, it's sunlight. It's a morning scent. And you know, just at the end of it all, 
a touch of a creaminess. Yeah, just to let you know that you're sure. in good hands, I think. Just to let you know that this is a finely constructed yeah. cologne. I, I do. I'm so... It's so fun to be in the shave world where we started yeah. because I think there's so many scents that we had no idea existed right. or that we would even enjoy and then they're put into like something that we'd actually grab and then we smell it and then finding out its lineage of like where it came from and right. why someone else was inspired it's super fun and now uh, we happen to glance at how much the original <laughs> bottle of Tom Ford costs and we are very grateful that this splash that. tops out at under $17 yep. so that we can grab a set you want to smell it mm -hmm. and I think it puts you just near their free shipping oh threshold. it might be right Right. Mm -hmm. as well, y'all. So I'm just That's saying, true. just putting it out there. What a fabulous line of soaps. Right? I wish I was a little curious about who made the vase, but that's going to have <gasps> no. to stay a mystery for but a little while. But it think. is fun that we ended with that was this one, because I feel like right. this is the most summery out of the three that we grabbed. This is probably the most us. It is. I would agree. You know, this you know? really does smell like a barbershop to if you needed to. As of right now, they are still available on the website. So if you want to get a new And they're going to be a permanent line. Yeah. Y'all, I asked Jason. I said, are these kind of one and done? So he's like, no, nope, baby. Yeah, these are stay. staying forever. I love it. So we are excited. So it's pretty easy, y'all. All you have to do is be on an adventure out in Southeast Asia. Have your machete in one hand and your compass in the other. Be plowing through the underbrush and you're going to feel a little tap on your shoulder. And what is that? Oh, it's a civet. You just got Stay your own! So head over to therazorcompany.com where you'll find this and a ton of other stuff I want. shave y'all with Pollux. A beautiful Mandarin scent, but almost like a clockwork version of a play that you're watching. Something simple, but when you realize what must be going on under the surface, all of the gears, all of the clicking, all of the tension, all of the springs to get this to work. Who does it work? And y'all, that civet note that I've been gently poking fun at, if it weren't here, neither would be the charm. I am loving this. And as thusly we are going nuts over the lather, it deserves it. This lather is way better than I deserve for the amount of time I spent on it. It's just beautiful and thick and sticky and luxurious. For less than 17 bucks. Hey, Jason, TRC, nicely done. Welcome to Messages. So as we mentioned earlier with the Tiki brush, these are the two brushes that Craig sent from Opus Brush so that we could have a giveaway for you! Oh, so what we're going to do is we're going to give away the first one. You get your choice to our lucky winner here on the show on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then the other one we're going to give away at the end of the summer on one of our Instagram lives, hopefully with Craig yeah. when he joins us to talk about Opus Brush a little bit. So to qualify for our giveaway here on YouTube and your choice of one of mm -hmm. these brushes, all you have to do is send an email here to we sent you at the bar barbershopduet.com so we can get back to you. Be yeah. one of our subscribers and also follow Opus Brush mm -hmm. on Instagram. Check out everything Craig's got going and check back here on July, July 3rd, 3rd when we draw our lucky winner on the show. Best of luck, y'all. Might be my favorite lather of the year so I, I far. I gotta say, Are three in a row. Kidding me, the Jason? first one you're like, oh, was that just a lucky oh, uh, lather? No, no. I mean, yeah. the fact that it smells miraculous is kind of gravy because mm -hmm. this formula is just amazing on we, your We face. might have to get another splash. I feel like we're gonna fight each other to both use this. Yeah, this one I, I think is gonna go rather quickly, and at these <laughs> prices, hit both uh, of we us could strong. always mm -hmm. use a backup. I think. Yeah, it is super fun to be around for summer because we jumped in at the end of July the last year, end, yeah. so no it's kind of nice missed. to get a preview of the summer vibes that are coming through the lanes and the yeah. spring that's here. These three were delicious. They really, summer. really, really were. I'm so excited to do the rest. There are a couple of that are coming down from the race company that are not homages. Oh, yeah, country. this OG There's scent. Some tropical things coming down. Ooh. I'm just excited to dive into I some of the rest I think there'll be more returning. Don't you worry. So don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this. Mm -hmm. 